Here in Tamarat, Morocco, we're at one of my favorite restaurants today, Let's Be. It opened in 2018 and it is a haven for vegan food and everything organic, fresh, some ingredients you can't find anywhere else here. So let's take a look on what we have here. Here we have a very famous work of art in Tamrat. Anyone that goes down the road will see this massive love made with 4.5 kilos of plastic bottle caps all collected from the beach. They had a promotion here where if you brought in bottle caps, you would get a drink for free, I believe. Coffee. Coffee for free. And here we have Hawaii caps. That's how you know we're in Morocco. Of course, Sprite, Coca-Cola, but just a very creative use of the bottle caps and trash we've had. We saw a lot of the repurposing done at uh, Am's Moon last night with their artwork and here we see another situation of it. Watch out for the expletives there, but love always, even in the all situations. Wow. Two kombucha. Yeah. Shokran. This one is made with hibiscus flavor. Hibiscus? Yeah, with grenade. And this one is made with uh, ananas. Pineapple. Pineapple, yeah. And, uh, uh, and uh, mint. Pineapple, mint, mint. Yeah. and pomegranate hibiscus. Yeah. Wow. Thank you. All right, so for you non-hippies, kombucha is a slightly fermented, bubbly beverage that has probiotics in it, and it's really good for the gut. Hippies will say it does a bunch of other stuff. They brew their own with a self-contained organism that's a symbiotic fungus and bacteria, I believe, and they make it and they put flavors in there. That's very nice. It looks like champagne, so cheers. cheers. Wow, it's like tea. It's a, it's a bubbly, slightly fermented tea is actually what uh, kombucha is, but great stuff. Switch. Mm. I like the pineapple mint one. Really? I like the hibiscus one. Okay, we switch and we stay like this. And here we have our anchor bowl, which we're going to dive into first because it's got some very nice cream, which is a vegan dairy-free ice cream. A selection of fresh fruits, kiwis, mango, banana, granola, grapes, some flower petals, a little bit of coconut, pomegranate, mint, everything you'd want in here. So let's dig into this first. So this is one of our smoothie bowls and you can pick your mixture of what you put on your forkful. Mm. Yes, I want some, please. Looks delicious. I don't want to destroy it, but I'm just gonna dig in. Wow. Mm. And it's just a perfect summer snack. Like if the day is hot, you don't feel like eating anything. It's just like it cools you down and it gives you a lot of energy. Perfect. Yeah, it's icy and healthy. Mm. Your multivitamin in a bowl. So as we dive deeper into here, I see new things. We got some bee pollen on the mango mm -hmm. and some flax seeds going on the apple pieces and there are like goji did you see goji goji berries in there too another mm. one of those rare ingredients and the whole thing is smoothie under there maybe it's not berry nice cream i think it's a berry smoothie or something the fruit is gone but we still have such a big smoothie bowl here yeah <laughs> it's a big big bowl so 2018 this place opened and it was originally completely vegan and that's highlighted in this dish here where we have some marinated tofu. I don't know where else to get marinated tofu here in Tamrat or even Morocco. So if you're a vegan or vegetarian, this place is a must go to. If you're in Tagazoo, Tamrat or Rear Agadir, it's worth the trip. You could eat here every day something different. I know a lot of people that do that. It caters a lot to uh, yoga teachers who are working around here. So a lot of times their diet is vegan. So they find this paradise here and the food is just prepared with such love. As you see here, all the cuts and that's what the special ingredient is. 
not just the fresh Moroccan produce, fruits and veggies, but the love that it's put together with. We have our teriyaki sauce with sesame seeds and pomegranate, marinated tofu, fresh sprouts, again, something else that we can't really find in Morocco. Sunflower seeds, this is like nature's medicine cabinet, giving you all the fuel you need. Mm. Wow, what a fun cucumber. I don't even eat cucumbers, <laughs> but when they're made like that, I have to eat it. You try. Well, I love cucumbers, so I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna go straight for a bite of the marinated tofu. Tofu isn't something I usually eat. I used to as a vegetarian, but... Well done. Tofu really doesn't have much flavor, but I like what they did with the outside of this. Very nice. Dip it in the sauce. Eat it with a little avocado covered in flax seeds and black flax seeds. Ooh, even more stuff down there. Mm, I want to try. <laughs> Teriyaki is my favorite. It's really nice with the sauce. Mm, let's try figs and teriyaki. Oh, you're crazy. And here, oh, let me get some, some nori seaweed. Like I said, all things that are healthy here. I don't know where else to get it. Mm, really good. And as we dig in deeper, we find corn. We find some brown rice in there. Wow. Another real nice thing here at Let's Be is the purple kraut fermented cabbage. Again, good for the gut. So unlike most Moroccan meals, there's no bread on the table. So I'm forced to use some lettuce as some bread. You know, how a healthy Moroccan eats. Somebody likes his Pokeball. Wow, it's amazing. The Hawaiian Pokeball has more ingredients than I probably eat in a week. And you just feel that you're getting a little bit of vitamins from everything. The fruits in it are very ripe and sweet and juicy. And everything's put together very well. I feel weird in this video. It's the only video I'm using a fork, and I don't really use a fork right, so I'm kind of embarrassed. For right the now. last. One of my favorite things on the menu is the tacos. These aren't your French tacos. They have proper tortilla on there, open face. I put these tacos against any taco in the United States. Very nice with local fish here, as well as salmon and shrimp tacos available. Wow, these tacos are the real deal. We got salmon, radishes, feta cheese, basil oil, capers, avocado, some more of that purple kraut, pomegranate seeds for a nice touch. I recommend any of the tacos on the menu. And what I really like to do is make some spicy mayo with the harissa. Now the trick is to not make a mess when you eat the taco. Yeah, I was just about to say, I'm gonna probably make a mess. I'm already doing a mess. Yeah, probably the best tacos I have ever had. I don't like these capers. Capers, but like there's like so many things inside that you can, bar you can barely taste them, and the uh, salmon is just like fresh and amazing. Mm. Your turn. Yeah? Very nice taco, unlike any taco I've ever had. Who made the bigger mess with tacos? My taco? You just eat quicker. Your taco. You just eat quicker. No, this is what fell from your taco, and this is what fell from my taco. These are unlike any Mexican tacos you've seen. These are unlike any Moroccan tacos you've seen. I think we have another one of those unique creations here in Morocco of a fusion of foods, you know, a taco with salmon and feta in Morocco. Very good. Who's gonna eat the last taco? The taco is really hard to split. <laughs> so what do you suggest? Mm, I eat it and the stuff that falls out you can eat. <laughs> Because I make such a mess when I eat the tacos, you know? 
Andrea's belly is gonna hurt if she eats this taco, so I better eat it. <laughs> They're so nice. You're gonna sacrifice for me? Mm -hmm. <sighs> Removing the capers. Capers freak me out. She <laughs> asked if I eat everything, and the answer is pretty much yes, except for pickles and capers. What are capers? And tuna and olives. I eat fresh tuna, but not canned tuna. And olives, no, 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 no. I think you're not really a Moroccan if you don't eat olives. <laughs> so this, this is the, the leftovers I can eat? Mm -hmm. If you want to. Any last words? Uh, Life is hard. Huh? Reclines with a glass of kombucha. <laughs> <laughs> What a hippie. I really don't think most Moroccans have heard of kombucha. I've never seen it in a store, definitely no shops here. Probably a margin, maybe. She says in Slovenia it's not common. No, not like at the, the grocery stores. You have to go like to a special organic store or something like that. In America we get it at the Jewel or any other grocery store. They got big brands now. Maybe, maybe now they have it too in Slovenia, I don't know. Homebrew. Really nice and not common in Tamrat is we have Visa MasterCard accepted. And we come inside, if outside is too noisy, we have beautiful seating here. It's got a very hipster cafe vibe to it. Pineapples for decoration. And another one of those beautiful works of art that come from the beach with the plastic waste. Remember, keep it clean, keep it swing. Take some lighters, make an art, the whole rainbow. Dream catcher. Affirmations, motivation, chill, laugh, love. You're enough, you're worthy, be grateful. You look good. Thank you. It's Who's sweet. There? <laughs> Wow, bathroom smells really good. And we have more collections of plastics. So very colorful place here from the plastics collected on the beach all the way down to the food. And if we go in the back here, we have some of our specialty ingredients that we've used. I recognize the organic rose from the killer bowl, the goji berries as well, and some harder to find things here like Brazilian nuts, black seeds, white sesame, what is this one? The spigala husk. I don't even know what that is. The spigala husk. Spigala husk. I have no idea. More of the shop here. Their own branded peanut butter. Argan oil for cosmetics. Wow. A little bit of everything. Here. Everything looks so nice, you just want to have it all with it. <laughs> Nice clean kitchen back there. And here we have raw desserts. This goes back to this restaurant's origins as a couple that was fruitarian, so they ate a lot of fruit and they don't cook it. So some of these desserts may have come from that. We have a chocolate peanut butter stuffed donut, a raw fig uh, macaroon, passion fruit raspberry raw cake and a stuffed date with almonds and chocolate and this could be right out of a cafe in Byron Bay Australia or Soho New York we have rose petals garnish on it very nice let's dig in and Andrea's gonna take our first bite beautiful plate choose your dessert passion fruit Raspberry, one of my favorite fruits, passion fruit. Just, wow, it's like fresh and sweet and juicy and I even feel some coconuts inside. I think the bottom is made of figs um, or maybe dates, I'm not sure, but it's just like perfect combination of sweetness and freshness in the dessert. I know that juicy sweet you're talking about now. Yeah. Very nice. Let's hit it with some lime. It almost tastes like key lime pie. Oh wow, yeah, I wanna try this. Hurry up before it's gone. <laughs> Next one. One down, three to go. I figure we saved chocolate for last. 
go to our fig macaroon. Nice rosebud on top. Cool. And we're just gonna pick it up like this. Oh. Interesting. It's like a fig. <laughs> Don't eat the flower. No, it's dry. Well, it tastes like roses. <laughs> you just ate a rose. <laughs> this is our special mint tea. Yeah, it's made with some special herbs with jasmine and some herbs that are collected from the mountain. Special herbs from the mountain here in yeah, Tamra. Yeah, yeah. Local yeah. herbs. You may also record the, the, the tea. Okay. Yeah. Get in there. Bismillah. Saha. Two down, two to go. With dark chocolate. Oh. Stuffed date with dark chocolate. That almost looks like a gummy worm on top. It's kind of sweet because of the date, but bitter because of the chocolate. So it's really good balancing between the two of them. I thought it's gonna be too sweet for me, but it's not. So I could continue. I don't know exactly what they stuffed the date with, but it is excellent. Yeah. Last but not least. Oh. Peanut I'm, butter, chocolate donut. Wow. It's raw and vegan, but I still think Homer Simpson would eat it. May I think oh, we need a doggy back, don't you think? No, 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 no. I got one right here. Feeling, I'm sure. Really thick. Wow. The peanut butter is in the middle there. And it's healthy. So that's what's inside of the cookie. Peanut butter donut. Peanut butter donut. Mm -hmm. Are you happy? Very happy. This place is amazing for a very memorable meal. Meeting with friends you haven't seen in a while, meeting new friends. I love this place. Or maybe just a working in this nice relaxing area with some sun, Wi-Fi. Delicious food, amazing drinks, maybe some coffee or tea. Good vibes only. This is the local tea we were trying and we're talking about, yeah. made of herbs picked just on the top of the mountain behind Tamra. So this is Korean Pam. Yeah, hi, nice to meet you. And I just wanted you to explain to the viewers yeah. what you like about working here so much. So, first time I know about this place, like two years ago, with a sticker, which needs to be sticker. I was sitting on a coffee in Dagazu, I saw a sticker and a laptop and I love it. I was, wow, I love the, this logo, you know? Yeah. After, I mean, two weeks, I saw the job, the Adina, the waiter. So yeah, I applied and I'm here. Uh, no, I, uh, yeah, I checked Instagram and I love the place. I love the, the colors, vibes, yeah. music. Yeah, the owner is mad in India. I say shoot out to him from here. <laughs> They're now in Australia. So yeah, much love. Much yeah, love. I love like every time I meet new people because they don't like routine. Mm -hmm. Like living, living near to the beach, always going and now learning how to serve. Okay, <laughs> and yeah. Beautiful life. Cool. Yeah, that's it. It's Very a, good vibes. Yeah. It's that's a, the reason. And look, look, look. Yeah, yeah, we have the stickers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's it. Yeah. Cool. And you guys closed for coronavirus. Yeah. When did you reopen again? Like it was only like three days. Okay. When the government said that coffee could open, we didn't because we believe that it will be so hard for our team to move from a state of of quarantine to work easily. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we decided to give like a holiday to, our, to nice. enjoy the summer and travel with your family yes. and travel as well. So yeah, Beautiful. To, to move easy, yeah, yeah. Well, we're happy you're open again and yeah. thank you so much to the team. They provide a great experience yeah. to us and everybody else who comes yeah. here. So it's a thank you so much. We're gonna put a new Let's Be sticker on yeah. our... <laughs> <I'm fine. laughs> yeah. Yeah. Show them in the mirror real quick, the Let's Be sticker. It's a little old. Yeah, yeah go in the mirror, go in the mirror. Yeah. Uh, we're gonna put the new one on there. Thank you, Thank you so much. Very old. New Let's Be sticker on here. Oh, wow. Wow.
Not exactly where it was, but updated. Yeah, I'll it. Yeah. Thank you very much. Don't worry. And that's a wrap for Let's Be. They just let us know it's in the top 10% of restaurants worldwide, according to TripAdvisor. That is insane. Amazing place, full of love, great vibes. I feel energetic vibrance after eating here. I know many other travelers have come here and had memorable experiences coming back again and again. So check out Let's Be if you're in the area. It's a cannot miss. And look at this view of the ocean. I love this place. It's Hamrat, Morocco. It's got everything. Okay. Here we have the front page menu for Let's Be, includes all the breakfast items. And here I was talking about those ingredients you might not be able to find anywhere else. So we have spirulina, royal jelly, bee pollen, could probably be found in Morocco, ginseng extract, uh, chaga mushroom shot, organic African moringa, all these things that uh, you might not find at the souk, or I don't know how to find at the souk. <laughs> Uh, lovely breakfast menu, traditional eggs, as well as some fancy gourmet toast, sure to satisfy any millennial or vegan, and some gluten-free pancakes that are some of the best I've ever had. The toppings on them, amazing. They have sweet and savory. I personally like the pancake Mexicola with smoked salmon on top. It's really, really perfect. Smoothie bowls are full of fruits, and they could be customized to your content. Vegan proteins, Kia, almonds, everything you'd want here. And if it's the afternoon, we could go on to the lunch menu. And this is where my favorite things are. Tacos, salad bowls, and these are so beautiful. Look at that list of ingredients. It's like getting a multivitamin in your meal. So. We also have all these bowls with salmon, as well as fish burger, vegan burger, and the homemade buns, everything very, very nice here. And if you just want a drink, we have all the smoothies, cold pressed juices, one of the few spots to get kombucha around here in Tamrat. Of course, your teas, and a variety of coffees. Tiger nut milk, wow. Like I said, lots of different things here. I really love these smoothies as well. And on the last page, we have our elixirs and tonics detox daily shots. Again, that ginseng extract, moringa, chaga mushroom shot. And these are all healthy healing things. It's almost like a pharmacy here. So as you saw, the prices might be a little bit higher than what you've seen in Morocco, but I like to consider it like an investment in myself, in my body, and my future self. I know that it is healing food, as they say here, and it's a beautiful work of art when it comes out to you here. You put it in your body, and you feel great afterwards. So let's be good for breakfast, lunch, dinner just a drink whenever you feel you need a little pick-me-up in your life when you've been eating too much cheeseburgers and pizza and street food we need to come to let's be to find that balance <laughs>